Salt. There's a universal rule of bureaucrats around the world. They can't stand being wrong, so they never admit to it. The same thing goes for our public health civil servants. Can you imagine that it took them more than two decades to admit that they were wrong about fat? The very people who get paid from our taxes refused to admit that they were wrong. They manufactured every excuse imaginable and found everyone else to blame because they did not have the metal to admit that they were wrong. The same thing goes on right now with salt. They set the adequate intake of salt at the equivalent of 1,500 milligrams sodium per day with an upper limit of 2,300 milligrams sodium a day against all the rules and protocols established to set these standards. Let's take a look at how our public health bureaucrats at the Institute of Medicine managed to fool you. The rules for setting the dietary reference intake state that when there's insufficient data from dose response trials, in this case sodium, to establish an estimated average requirement, you have to provide an adequate intake requirement. So the so-called experts set the adequate intake at 1500 milligrams sodium a day and they even went further to say that the upper intake level or upper limit should be set at 2300 milligrams sodium a day. That's the figure we always hear about, that 2300 milligrams of sodium per day. But hang on a minute. This isn't some free-for-all where any joker who hasn't spent a minute in the food and nutrition business gets to say whatever he or she wants to about what we need to eat, is it? There are rules that govern these recommendations, and here they are. These rules state very clearly that an adequate intake is a value based on nutrient intakes of populations of healthy people. But look at the World Health Organization figures. There's no country in the world that consumes as low as 1,500 milligrams sodium per day, not one. So the adequate intake figure of 1,500 milligrams sodium per day is totally bogus, it's false. How's about the upper limit of 2,300 milligrams sodium a day? Well, if the upper limit is 2,300, then how come the majority of the healthiest countries in the world, the countries with the highest life expectancies, consume way above that figure? Look at the US, right up there at our consumption of 3,400 milligrams sodium per day, just where we want to be. What is the goal of the recommendations here? To get us to consume sodium at a level that puts our life and health at a greater risk? These are World Health Organization figures. Doesn't anybody look at this evidence before making recommendations that may end up harming us? The government pen pushers got it wrong from the beginning and they're still trying to find every excuse and blame everyone else other than their own incompetence. What are we supposed to do? Wait another 20 years until they fess up? Use your common sense, enjoy tasty food, eat lots of salads, fruits and vegetables and enjoy life. And let the bureaucrats eat their own fodder. Salt!